You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. With only a handful of days left in the 117th Congress, there is a scramble to work out House and Senate differences for a high-priority reform to protect our presidential elections from another January 6th. The Electoral Count Reform Act seeks to close loopholes in our presidential election certification process exploited by allies of former President Trump. Both versions define the vice president's role in the certification process, increase the threshold for objecting to a state's count to one-fifth of each of the U.S. House and Senate chambers, and to honor the popular vote by not allowing a state legislature to override that vote. The Bulwark reports that differences between the House and Senate versions have hung up the bill. The Senate version has the votes it needs to overcome the filibuster, with 16 GOP senators backing it, including Senator Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Representatives Liz Cheney and Zoe Lofgren, sponsors of the House version, cite two deficiencies in the Senate version. Two terms for objecting to the certification are not defined, a potential loophole, and past court cases don't allow the courts to be involved in vote count disputes. The House version writes that court review into its process. The good news, both Senate and House leadership are optimistic the reform will be passed before the end of the year. We have details on each version and groups taking action at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. For the American Democracy Minute, I'm Brian Beal.